All right. So I'm not gonna lie, Dr. Phil was like one of my faves. He, he was a funny meme, but this is a lot. So <laughs> let's get out our tea. And um, watch Dr. Phil make a fool of himself. And before you watch this, I just wanna say, Dr. Phil is a psychologist. He specializes in psychology, not physiology, I think is the right word. But there's a complete difference between knowing <laughs> between knowing what the fuck is going on inside like the, the this system and, and knowing what's going on in here okay there's there's a lot going on up here but there's also a lot going on in here and there's a very different set of things to learn for both of those um also it, all right let's just watch 250 people a year die from poverty. 250 people a year die of poverty, and that is horrible. And I'm not going to deny that, it's completely horrible. The thing is, no matter how you go about it, this virus will make things worse. If you do not just stay inside and fucking social distance, we will have to social distance longer. We will have to stay away from people longer. This will last longer and it'll have more lasting effects on everything. The thing that people don't realize is they're complaining and saying that this social distancing and shutting everyone down will is affecting everything. The thing that they don't get is if we don't do it now, the time that we'll have to do it will be longer and more people will die because if we go out too fast after the social distancing, there will be a spike of people getting this virus again and then we'll just have to close the country up again and more people will die. Like, this is such a stupid thing to be thinking about is the economy and opening up the country because it won't matter if we're dead. It will not matter. The economy will not matter if we're all fucking dead. And the poverty line is getting such that more and more people are going to fall below that because the economy is crashing around us. And they're doing that because people are dying from the coronavirus. I get that. I get that. Obviously you don't. The thing is, wouldn't the economy be worse if a ton of people fucking died? There's nothing more important than just stopping this virus because without stopping this virus, everything else comes tumbling down. It's like a house of cards. It, the top one is probably the virus, and if it just doesn't go right, everything else below it falls. But look, the fact of the matter is, we have people dying, 45,000 people a year die from automobile accidents, 480,000 from cigarettes. The thing with both of those things that Dr. Phil is comparing to the virus, automobile accidents are not spreadable. I mean, yes, if you hit a car, the other car will be damaged, but it's not a spreadable virus. With COVID-19, th there's no antidote. There's no, there's a word for the thing that you get before getting a virus. Comparing those things, he's gonna compare it to something else right now and I'm gonna get more mad. It's 360,000 a year from swimming pools, but with swimming pools. 360,000 a year from swimming pools, but we don't check. <laughs> swimming pools, bitch, bitch. Swimming pools, you're comparing. Ah, you're comparing a pandemic to swimming pools. Is he gonna compare the Spanish flu to a swimming pool, bitch? Oh, uh, these arguments are the dumbest. I can't believe he is a psychologist. I, I, I can't believe it. The amount of just ignorance. Like, how the fuck is he even a psychologist? I mean, he's not right now. He, he doesn't even have a license anymore. But like, this bitch went through school and has a... I hate it, okay? And something I didn't mention when I was recording, Dr. Phil is mentioning all these different ways that people are dying. And he's not mentioning the fact that people are dying in the hospital. And now that there's, a, and now there's all these COVID patients in the hospital. So they're taking spaces of people who are sick in the hospital. We don't shut the country down for that, but yet we're doing it for this and the fallout is going to last for years. We, we won't last for years if... <laughs> <laughs> okay, the thing is, we won't even last for years if we don't shut everything down. Stay safe, social distance, all that stuff. Cheers. I hear when he said this, but there's a tweet. I just sounded like that filter on TikTok. Anyways.